Hi guys, hope everyone is doing really well. Um, not been a video for a little while, so I think I've probably got enough for two or three videos. Um, I have been buying items, not too many, but I've found a few. And this video, I've got a few for Alex and I've got a few for me. And I'll show you what I bought and I'm pretty excited to show you some very rare Baco items today. So let's get Alex's out of the way. Um, this came up for Alex on eBay, um, a beautiful um, um, Baxter wrench. So beautiful Baxter wrench. So I bought this for Alex. I do have a set of Baxter wrenches, um, three sizes, um, one, two, three. Alex hasn't got one yet. So this was um, a nice addition to Alex's collection. This one is very much, much rarer than the other type. Um, there is another version with a sort of a screw like that rather than a thread. I think this is a bit rarer and a bit earlier, but the condition's not great of this one. Um, but that's for Alex. Um, also on eBay, um, a wonderful set of three U-boat spanners. They were covered in paint. I've put them in Evaporust um, just to take the worst off it. And, and, and they do need wire wheeling. I don't know if I'll get a chance to do it, Alex. This is a patent number three Huber. Um, a number a number a number two and a number one alex has got a number two and number one i bought the set alex just wants the number three so this will go to alex in his pile with this i do have a set of quite a nice set which i also put in evaporust but these didn't have as much paint on it i've got a set of three myself so i'll chuck the others in the uh, swaps drawer um but yeah really really good um alex has got a complete set now I don't think there's too many people out there with a set. I also picked up this absolutely wonderful Bowley Lathes um, Miniature Jewelers Vice. Works really smooth. Um, you can see there, S. Wolf & Co. Limited, 11 South Newark Street, London, SE1. Um, beautiful, beautiful little machinist vice. Um, no no way of attaching it to the bottom. I think it's just for jewellers, soldering or whatever. Needs a clean, but beautiful thing. So that'll go on the vice shelf. Really nice addition. Really pleased with that. Um, and then the piece de resistance for this video is I've managed to complete um, a full set of Generation 1 Type 2 Baco spanners. And I believe, possibly, I'm the first person to get a full set. I've never seen another full set. So... I got this one from Jonathan Stalling um, in Sweden. He posted it on a group. This is a Baco Vastada pattern number five. You can see it's a number five. Someone's drilled a rather large hole through it. And on the other side, somewhere it should have um, made in Sweden Baco. You see there made in Sweden and the Baco stamp. Um, really, really nice. But unfortunately, it's been welded. It's had an early repair on the joint, but it's got the original jaw and the original screw, but it has had a welded repair. This is from, I think, about 1886, uh, very early, and it's a very large size. Uh, let's have a look at what size it is. Um, the number five is a 20, 19 and a half to 20 inch uh, wrench. So a big one. So thank you, Jonathan. I'm very, very pleased. And another friend of mine, I want to show you. Sorry about that, I had a phone call. Another friend of mine, Pele Anderson, um, really, really lovely guy, kindly let me do a trade for his Baco number three. You can see there it's stamped to Baco number three. Um, this is a this is a one foot twelve inch Baco number three. What's nice about this one is it's not got a hole drilled through the letter, which most of mine have. Um, so I was really, really pleased with that. So I'm gonna put these up on the wall now and make a display and you can take a look. And let's put the vice back and then Alex's stuff as well go in his drawer. Um, and then, yeah, that'll call that the end of the video. Um, thanks for watching, for watching the old video. And Alex has got two nice new items and I've got three nice new items, so we're doing well. All right, let's get on with it. Right guys, so I've decided to move my um, Baco Clyburn collection, which was up there, to make a feature of a full set of early Baco number uh, generation one type two. 
Um, so we've got a full set here. We've got um, 6, uh, 8, 10, 12, 15, 18, 20, 20 and 24 inch or whatever. Uh, really nice. I've moved at a reorganization. I put my 50 series up here and I've put the backhoe Clyburns, which were in that spot up there. So it's a bit of a different tidy up. So really pleased to find those. Those are kind of uh, special bucket list items you don't expect to find. I don't think, last year I got one um, from Joe in England and the year before I had got none, I think. So quite pleased with that. And then here we've got my miniature vices on this little shelf here. And we've got this nice um, bowly type vice, probably put it that way. Um, nice bowly type vice to go on this shelf. So really pleased with that, another miniature next to his bigger brother Bowley Vice. So yeah, pretty pleased with that. Um, you have to tell me what you guys think. Super pleased with the Baco first generation. All right, thanks for watching if you got this far. Take care, have a great day, bye.